right? You may have some competition possibly. When we look at her Titan grade, she is going to get a B plus on her Titan grade. The biggest reason is because she has 778 on her attack power. Uh, that's pretty high. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. If you're curious about any other hero in Empires and Puzzles, you can view my website at anchorgame.com. There you will find I have graded every single hero with a calibrated team of graders. This resource will always be free. Thinking about supporting the hero grades in the breakdown videos? You're welcome to donate. Otherwise, feel free to share this resource with a friend. I have my exclusive line group called Anchor Cove, where you gain access to myself and tons of other experienced players with on-demand information and resources. If that piques your interest, all that information is on the opening page of my website with a short video. Let me dive into today's Hero Breakdown. Hey, thanks so much for checking out the channel. Today we're going to be doing a brand new Hero Breakdown on Demisha Costume. The Aviator looks like she added some poison to her. She's got 778 on her attack, 724 on her defense, and 1411 on her health. Statistically, above average on the attack, defensively pretty good, and solid on her health total for sure. She runs at average speed. She is also a costume, which means she gives you a bonus. An attack, defense bonus of 5%, health bonus of 10%, mana bonus of 5%. So what that means is if you, if you max out her costume, both her and the original version get a massive boost. So that's pretty awesome there. In terms of her hero specials, she deals 390% damage to the target. The target and nearby enemies receive 320 for poison damage over four turns dispels status ailments from the caster and nearby allies so definitely a variant of her original version she's dealing a little bit less damage but she's also setting up so the target nearby enemies also receive poison damage over four turns and then she's also taking away any negative side effects from her and the nearby allies rather than dispelling the the opposing team so kind of the opposite I do like the fact that she deals the poison damage now rather than doing the holy protection there. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. It is a free massive turn-based dark fantasy RPG. To try this game out, all you gotta do, go to the video description, click on the special links. You'll receive 100,000 silver and one free champion, Acolyte. It's only available for new players in the next 30 days and all your treasure, it's waiting for you right over here. So I do like that this hero is a lot more offensively useful rather than being more defensively because this means that she can be implied in more situations rather than being contingent upon the opposing team having holy heroes. So she is a ranger class hero. She is using the ranger emblems and right now off the top of my head, I'm not remembering what the original version is, but with her running ranger, I think it's okay being able to bypass. So it's all right. You may have some competition possibly. When we look at her Titan grade, she is going to get a B plus on her Titan grade. The biggest reason is because she has 778 on her attack power. Uh, that's pretty high up there, so that helps out a ton. And then as far as her abilities goes, she can dispel. So maybe you're not bringing antidotes in, but I still think would I would bring antidotes in against the Titan. I'm not a big fan of her being on your Titan team. The only place that she really fits is going to be in the high tile damage slot. So, I don't know, possibly some usability there. When we look at her offensively, she is going to get an A minus grade. This is possibly close to an A. I think that she deals a lot of damage. 390% damage to the target is quite a bit. And what I like about her is that if she's dealing damage to the target, she's also applying poison uh, to the damage uh, to the nearby enemies as well too. So you can really get that splash effect of damage and you're also giving the, da the poison damage to the original target. So 324 over four turns, it's not a ton, but it's still definitely something. I do appreciate her offensive skills a lot better on her costume version rather than a regular version. She is going to get the A minus grade there. We look at her defensively, she is going to get a B plus defensively. The reason being is she has really high defensive stats, so that helps out a ton. Plus she's hitting the target and nearby enemies with the poison damage. If they are throwing any negative side effects to your team, you can also dispel. Maybe not the best hero, but she definitely has some defensive stats. 
I think that there are a ton of other better heroes that you could be potentially putting in as your tank, but she's still going to get a B plus grade there. Could be serviceable. She's going to get also another B plus grade in the flank. Possibly might be the best position for her with her running at average speed. She's dealing damage to the target, dealing poison damage to uh, the homies right next to them. And then she's also dispelling. So I could see some usability possibly in the flank position. She is going to get another B plus grade. And then she's going to get a B in the wing. Probably not the best place to be putting her. I just prefer a lot better heroes in the wing. Uh, heroes like Seshat or Sartana will be a lot better in that wing position. Defensively, she is going to get an overall defensive grade of B+. That might be giving her a little bit of credit, possibly. I think that you can use her, but I think that there's better heroes out there. When we look at her weekly raid grade, she is going to get an A- minus on rush attack. Again, another close call to being an A. I do like this hero now running at very fast speed, dealing a bunch of damage, and then also the poison damage, and then also helping out Dispel if you need it. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think that there's possibly some better heroes in slow that you could just swing in there and just have a little bit more of an impact. But I still think she's pretty solid. She could be used. And then when we look at her buff grade, she is going to get a B plus grade on buff. The reason being is that a lot of times when people are using buff, they're throwing some, some ailments at you. So she's dispelling. So that is going to help out. Plus she's running at average speed, dealing some damage. Possibly an okay hero, a little bit above average. And when we look at her bloody battle grade, she is going to get an A minus grade. The reason being is that she's dealing quite a bit of damage at 390%, and then also applying the poison. So she's a very offensive hero, but I don't really like that she's running at average speed. Overall, she is going to get a B plus grade. I like that they added the poison damage, so it's impacting just more than just the, the single target. She's definitely better than her original version. So thanks so much for watching this content. Please make sure you subscribe, you turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, you All right, we're going to continue. So on offense, nope, still, we're still, we're still getting through this.